Okay, so there are a lot of investing and money saving apps out there and we tried, I should say, Kyle tried. Acorns. Acorns. Hey guys, it's Justine with Debt Free Millennials and today I have my husband Kyle with me. Hey. And we are going to be talking about Acorns. I'm sure you've heard of this app. It's supposed to help you save money and invest. And we're going to be talking about our experience. And you actually did the bulk of operating the app. Yep. So first, what is Acorns? Acorns, it's a clever name, but they operate off of what they call Roundups. And they take the Roundup and they put it into its own savings account. So Acorns is really more of a savings app than it is an investment app. So what's a Roundup? Let's say I go to a coffee shop, I spend $1.75 on coffee. What Acorns does, it takes that, it rounds it up to $2, so it takes that extra 25 cents and puts that into a savings account. It's also an investment account at the same time. So you'll play with the market, you can do, uh, you can choose aggressive funds, you can choose conservative funds, uh, anywhere in between. I chose aggressive funds and we did this for about uh, 14 months. So over the 14 months, we averaged about $70 a month in roundups. Now included in that $70 is also a $20 a month recurring contribution. So in total, our roundups were about $50. So how did we do over the 14 months? Well, that's where I, we're kind of like, nah, not for us. We pay attention to our investments a lot. Ours didn't really do that well. Uh, so. If you open up your acorns or you look at what we're looking at on the screen, you see for 14 months we have $972.68 in our account. Woohoo, not, not bad for just uh, rounding up the extra change. Basically creating a digital piggy bank. Uh, so you see we, it says we've made $14 in the market. But that's not really very accurate. You got to go to the total gain and loss section where it says we've only gained $1.26. Uh, extra in addition to the change that we contrib contributed. So not very well. So over the course of 14 months we made or we saved $972. Is that right? Yep, $972.68. So you can project that out and over four, uh, 40 years from now when I were, well, I mean, I'm 72 and she's a lot younger still. Mm, thanks. It'd be worth $48,000 is what they estimate. So that's pretty good. Um, but had we just taken $70 a month and thrown it into an index fund like Vanguard, how would we have performed? Well, we would have come out about $30 ahead, uh, so quite a bit better than here. Now, that, that doesn't seem like a lot, but when you extend that out over time, if we were to do that for the next 40 years, that's going to be a huge difference. So for us, it's not our first choice. I'd rather take the $70 and put it in an index fund with Vanguard, which we already have a Vanguard account. Now, who is Acorns good for? It's good for people who struggle to put money away. I didn't really notice it, did you? Did you notice the roundups? Mm, no, because the roundups were coming from our checking account and we do bulk of our purchases on our credit card. Does that make a difference? No. Okay. No, I didn't really notice it. Mm. So, how much does Acorns cost you? Well, the great part is if you are a college student, it costs you nothing. If you have a valid .edu email address and are under the age of 24, do Acorns because it's a great way to put money aside. It doesn't cost you anything. Uh, so those are the two people that I recommend use Acorns. It's also good because it's automated. You don't have to think about it. It just does it and then it sends you an update every month or so saying, hey, here you go. Uh, if you have a very small amount of money that you're you're contributing, it's not very good because it costs you a dollar a month at minimum. They have a retirement plan that costs two dollars a month and includes this uh, acorns that we did and they have their premium where you get a checking account and savings account and all that and that's three dollars a month. So if I only have a hundred dollars in there and it costs me a dollar a month, that means I spent twelve dollars to save a hundred dollars so I actually only have eighty eight dollars. That's a lot of money just to save a hundred bucks. But if you've got $10,000 in there and it's only costing you a dollar a month, then it starts to be pretty comparable to some of the index funds out there. So those are my recommendations. We're gonna try maybe some other ones. There are lots of uh, 
organizations that are trying to do this micro savings robo accounts. Those are kind of buzzwords that are floating around on the market right now. Uh, but there's Stash, Clink, Betterment, Wealthfront. Uh, so there's a bunch of other ones. We might try Stash next, uh, just so that we can compare all the apps. Awesome. So you were trying to use this as an investment account, and it really didn't live up to your expectations, it sounds like. Yeah, only because of how it performed. I can do better in a Vanguard account than I could do on Acorns. But in terms of using this for a short-term savings account, like perhaps saving for a car or saving for a trip, would it work? Saving for a trip would be great. Because, I mean, we have $1,000 in there right now, and we did it for 14 months. That'd be pretty easy to not notice, and then you have the money there. Maybe even use it as a way to get an emergency fund. Yeah, potentially. So... We would love to know in the comments below, please jump in if you are an Acorns user, what you think of it. And we will also be leaving our link for you to sign up for Acorns and you can give it a shot. Now the link is an affiliate link and what do they get if they sign up, do we know? If you sign up with our link, you get $5 and so do we. That's part of how they get people to join Acorns. So it's a win-win. Test it out for yourself as an investment tool, not for us, but maybe for a savings tool for you. We'd love to know. Jump in the comments. Let us know.